Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? I'm not afraid of a lot of things in life. I do hate spiders and bugs, and I do get freaked out by death a little bit. But if there's one thing in life that I have a fear of, it is definitely heights. Now, I'm not afraid of heights because they're so high up in the sky. I'm more afraid of heights because I feel like I'm so high up in the sky. If I fall off, I will die. And that's the reason why I'm afraid of them, I think. I think that's my overall fear. But yes, I am afraid of heights. So if you didn't know that about me, now you know. And if you also are afraid of heights, now we have something in common. I really don't like heights just because I feel like I don't have an escape route, and if I fall off, I will just plummet to my death in the most crucial and worst way. So they're not really something I'm fond of, but one day I decided to conquer my fear. Not really conquer it, but I decided to take control of it a little bit. And it was actually during my senior year of high school. It was during our senior trip, which is a three-day vacation you go on during your senior year. It's pretty much just celebrating you're a senior and you're with your whole class and you have your teachers as chaperones. It was a pretty cool thing. And for my senior trip, we went to Washington, D.C., and we spent it at Busch Gardens, which is an amusement park where you ride roller coasters and whatnot. Now, roller coasters are probably one of my most hated things because, one, it combines heights. And two, it combines death with heights. And three, it combines spinning and twirling in midair. So all of those things combined makes roller coasters not fun for me. So I personally don't like roller coasters or heights. And during my senior trip, I decided to say, you know what? I only live once. I'm not trying to say YOLO. I'm not trying to say any of that. But you know what? I'm just going to take control of my fear just a little bit. And I'm going to ride a roller coaster. I'm not going to ride one of the screaming ones where you do triple backflips and can possibly fall out of your seat and land on your neck and die. I'm just talking about a regular roller coaster. Not a kiddie one. Not a super crazy one but just a normal roller coaster. So my friend and I decided to ride a roller coaster. He was also afraid of roller coasters too, and he didn't like heights as well. But we both never rode a roller coaster before, and we decided that we were going to do it together. So we're online, and I just think to myself, I'm like, what am I doing here? Why am I here? Why am I in line? I'm signing up for my death. Where's the waiver? Who do I give my stuff to? I don't even have a will. What is going on? So I'm just standing online. I'm keeping my composure on the outside, but on the inside of my mind, I'm freaking out. I'm thinking about all these things, just overthinking situations that could happen, but they're not really going to happen. And let me tell you, I was this close. I mean, this close from bitching out of it. I was about to just get off the line and be like, guys, I'm going to go get a funnel cake. I'll see you later. I'm not going to do this anymore. This is stupid. But I decided to just go with it. We got to the front of the line. The roller coaster came up. Everyone got off and we went on. The little bar thing came down and we strapped ourselves in with seatbelts. And I was off on my first roller coaster. Now, I'm going to be totally honest. I couldn't even enjoy it because I was so nervous. And I just strapped in. I was holding onto the bar as tight as I could. I had my eyes closed the entire time. And I was just feeling like I was in a video game that was going really, really fast. So that's what my first roller coaster ride ever felt like. I didn't open my eyes once. I can promise you that. I couldn't tell you what roller coaster I rode because I didn't even look at the name. I was so nervous. But I did it. I did ride my first roller coaster my senior year of high school, so you guys are probably going to be like, wow, Lee, you didn't ride a roller coaster until you were in high school? In senior year? You're crazy. What the hell? I love roller coasters. Well, not everyone loves roller coasters. I'm one of those people. Usually when we went to carnivals and fairs with all my friends when we were kids, I was the kid who was playing all the games, popping the balloons and winning prizes and doing all those kind of nerdy things while everyone else was riding the roller coasters. So I finally overcame my fear of roller coasters and heights and I rode my first one. And after I rode my first one, I decided to ride the same roller coaster, but this time opened my eyes. So I opened my eyes and it was really intense because... You really go fast on these things. I mean, wind's coming at your eyes like crazy. It's like you can barely see things. You feel like your skull's getting pushed back by the wind. And it was pretty intense, but it was a lot of fun. I did enjoy it. I don't think I would enjoy any of those really big, spinny, loop-de-loop -loop roller coasters. But the regular, normal ones I don't mind going on. So I learned that day that you shouldn't always be afraid of the things you're most afraid of. Definitely take a risk sometime because you might enjoy it. You never know unless you try it. And I mean, I don't like heights. I don't like roller coasters, but it was an experience that I don't regret. I'm happy I did it. I would never go skydiving. I would never go bungee jumping. I would never stand on top of the Empire State Building and look down. But I did get to ride a roller coaster. I did get to conquer that fear. And it did feel really good. I now can say I rode a roller coaster. I looked my fear in the face and said, hey, screw you fear. I'm in control of this. And it was pretty good, and it was a good feeling. So if you guys are afraid of anything, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you overcame your fear in any way, and I'd love to hear your stories. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later, everyone.